This is Buster, our 2005 Thomas built Freightliner school bus. It was converted by our VanQuest. We bought the bus completely renovated, but we've added a few personal touches along the way. Here's the entrance of the bus. The doors are operated by compressed air when the engine is running. They're so easy to open right now because it's disengaged. Under the hood, we have a Mercedes M906 series diesel engine. For those who know a little bit more about diesel engines, this is a pre-death engine, so we don't have to add that when we fill up. The tires on the bus are high scrub tires. Unlike a car, which typically runs around 35 PSI, these tires actually run between 105 and 110 PSI. This here is the main fuse panel for the bus. All the fuses on top are the stock fuses for the bus, and in the bottom right-hand corner, we have all the fuses for the appliances inside the bus. Just below the fuse panel, we have the charge controllers for the bus. These are controlling the charge coming in from the solar panels, and then we also have a little monitor that estimates the level of charge on our batteries. Here we have the two batteries to start the bus and the main breaker switch for the bus. This door here to the right, we always keep closed, locked, and it basically opens to the back of our bench, so we kind of forget it's even there. You can see one of the solar panels on top of the bus here. We have three in total on the bus. In the back left corner of the bus, we have our 100 gallon freshwater tank. The white cap closer to the front of the bus is where we fill up the water, and the one further back is where we put the diesel fuel in. Back here is the garage slash trunk of the bus. We keep our outdoor supplies, equipment, and tools here. In the back right corner of the bus, we have our 50 gallon gray water tank. At the back right corner of the bus, we have a large door which opens into our laundry hatch so we can take our laundry out easily. It's so large because the bus used to be a handicap bus. Sometimes we like to have movie nights on the outside of the bus. We have a big white sheet that we hang up with neodymium magnets and we just bring out the projector and hook up the Bose speaker and enjoy. On the outside of the bus, we have motion activated lights so that we can see at night. Welcome to our school bus named Buster. He is a 29 foot Thomas school bus. And we are just gonna give you guys a quick interior tour of the features inside that we really like and appreciate. So first up, when you walk in, you'll see we have shoe storage right here by the door. We have a place to wipe our feet on the grass, steps. It's actually turf down there. We have a carbon monoxide detector so that when our heater is running down here, which is run off propane, we do not get carbon monoxide poisoning. We have a junk drawer like every family does that has a lot of things in it that we need. We won't show too much of that. Correct. I'm going to put that back now. And then we also have an oven, which is pretty much just like a normal oven. Also runs off propane. It's very dirty. I won't show you that either. This is a stove top. What's really cool about this is the glass folds over so you can get extra counter space. And then you can put it up like this, like so, whenever you want to cook. This also runs off propane. This is a different type of material so that it does not mess up the paint. Like it's over copper. Here. It's copper. So that whenever we cook, it doesn't mess up the cabinet. This right here is a fireball. You'll see that it is really pretty. What's cool about it is it's very aesthetically pleasing, but if there were to be a fire from the propane that's under here, it would immediately explode and expunge the fire, which would be so great if we're not here in the event but if we are here it protects us immediately as well and it prevents our bus from actually <laughs> exploding and is one of my favorite safety features of the bus where i feel like i don't have to worry about a fire hazard come on down you'll see that we have some drawers for all of our silverware we have a big drawer that here one. this these two down here have to be opened with magnets but they are pretty good sized storage space up here we have storage for all of our candles our dishes and things like that. This is my personal area over here where I keep my art supplies, um, any alcohol that I have, <laughs> and I keep my makeup up there. This is our farmhouse sink. We went tiny, but we got a bigger sink, which I thought was so cool. This is a really neat setup that they have here, two different modes. And we can also give the dog a bath or a baby if we have one in the future, so that's really cool. Down here we have our pull out trash can, big space saver so that the trash can doesn't have to be sitting out, which is kind of impossible when you live tiny. 
and then on this side we have storage with a lot of our cleaning supplies and stuff to wash dishes and then if you go over here you'll see we have our bookshelf and our polaroid shelf and then to the left we have our bose speaker and our projector so we can watch movies at night in here if we would like what we typically do is we come over here we set up our white sheet on this corner and this corner with magnets because there's magnets back the, here. The hinges behind it are metal. Mm -hmm. So super easy to set up a little mini screen and then put the projector there, lay on the beautiful bench. And that is how we watch TV at night. If we don't want to go outside, if we do want to go outside, we'll take the projector and we'll put it on the side of the bus. And we can also take the Bose speaker out. The Bose speaker is also really great for when you're getting ready in the morning, you listen to a podcast and it's basically like surround sound with a small space, high quality speaker, bounces off everything. It's pretty cool. So over here we have the pantry. This was a pretty big must have for us. This stores all of our medicines, food, cleaning supplies up top. Love it. It also locks whenever we are on the road. So I don't have to worry about all my stuff breaking. Our refrigerator is a 12 volt fridge, but it's about three fourths the size of a regular fridge. Some people might have a fridge that's this size anyways. Sophie's very interested in so what is in the fridge. Thank you for the kisses, Sophie. Over here, I'll get out of the way so Jordan can show you our queen size bed and Sophie's twin size bed underneath. The cubby downstairs, or downstairs, down below us, is actually big enough to fit a full size adult as well as we have had friends spend the night down there. And you'll notice that she has stars up above in her cubby. In here is the bathroom. This is one of my favorite features about the entire bus. We have a Nebbia shower head and it is a preservation of water shower head, which we really like. This moves, which is nice. I can get it as low as I need to and Jordan can get it as high as he needs to. This is a magnetic, another, I guess you would call this like another shower head, but you can take it and you can like rinse off wherever you want. They both are water preservation shower heads though, which I really appreciate. The window here is also really nice. If you're parked in the middle of nowhere, you can just put it down. Um, this is all black down here and then white tile over here. We have our camping toilet, which literally just works like a regular toilet. It flushes and then you just empty it at gas stations or campgrounds as you so please. We have a trash can over here for obvious reasons and we keep our cleaning things like our broom, and our dustpan back here as well. We have a squeegee down here, so in case we're parked on uneven ground, we can get all the water to go down the drain and we don't have to worry about water sitting and drawing gnats. We'll come back in here and then this is my favorite area of the bus. It is our bench slash couch. We are thinking about converting it into an extra bed at some point, but we're not there yet. Um, I love this area because this table actually comes off and you can create a lot of extra space. This will also come out of the ground and it can create kind of like a play area for Sophie or if we just need more room to get ready in the morning, uh, super convenient. Also having a mirror here to get ready is also super nice. So I love that we can tuck this away up here behind our two seats. We have two actual car seats right here that Sophie and I ride in while Jordan drives. Sophie's in her car seat over there and she's latched in. We always safety first. And then I sit here and buckle up. These, the people who we bought the bus from found off Etsy for $150, but they're honestly such a lifesaver. And it's also where we keep our reflectix that typically go in our windows to keep out heat or to keep out the sun or to keep out people looking at <laughs> And then this is the reflectix that goes in the front of the bus. So over here, this comes out as well, but we have storage in both of these benches over here. So I will show you. Lots of storage, lots of extra towels, lots of extra clothes, lots of extra sheets, pillowcases, bras, you know, the whole to do. Over here is also storage. This is our instant pot down here. Jordan's underwear, our <laughs> uh, purses, and our vacuum cleaner, super nice storage in there. And these cushions are actually pretty thick and they're very comfortable. We slept on them before. We've had people sleep on them when they spent the night. So push that back a little bit. This here is our skylight, one of my favorite features. It is a lifesaver when you have a, 
there's some bugs in it right now. It's a lifesaver when you have a thunderstorm because you can sit and watch. Ew, that's gross. It's on the outside. Ew. <laughs> You can sit and watch a thunderstorm and it's really cool at night. Um, if there's like a moon you want to see or a storm or whatnot, super neat and I love it a lot. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite things about the bus. So then you'll come up here to the front of the bus and we'll show you the cabin area, driver cabin area, I guess is what we could call it. This is completely Jordan's area. Um, he drives the bus, I never drive the bus, and I don't really know what else to say about it other than this is where he drives the bus. Yeah. Everything up here is pretty much stock. Uh, we added this just to add a little flair to the bus. We thought it kind of went with the rest of the aesthetic. Um, but, you know, you have your fan when you're driving. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just stock. Most of the stuff here uh, hasn't really been changed, tampered with too much. So Up here we have extra storage. This is where we'll keep some stuff for Sophie, rugs. This is a curtain we put up at night in front of our door so that we don't have prying eyes. Most people do not even know that someone is living in this bus because the outside of it looks like a prison bus. Down here, we have our shoe storage. And this is where we keep all of our shoes. This is Jordan's area. I get two doors, he gets one for obvious reasons. <laughs> Mine's then, a little deeper, but for the she definitely gets more storage. Women need more shoes. And then these are the curtains that we use to shut the front of the bus. We have lots of storage in here. We keep our keys here when we come in. And we just try to keep everything pretty much uh, as separated and minimalistic as possible in here. So I hope you've enjoyed our bus tour and uh, like and subscribe. Catch us on the road. <laughs>